Today would be the last day of the debate club, for me at least, since my dad had it set up just for school and it's pretty stupid to try get out of graduation early for something like that. I spotted Saburo as I went through the back end trance, but when I got into the gym he had already ran off, so instead I went over to Shusaku. The bell went as soon as I got to him but that didn't stop me from reminding him he's a disgusting pervert. After the first class Noriyori and I approached Mizuki, he was choosing to not know how to speak today. I barely said anything to him and he bolted away. I followed and he was standing right next to the bin. It was the perfect opportunity to get him in but when I tried he held his ground and a teacher saw. But while I was being scolded Noriyori ran over and cleanly shoved Mizuki right in the bin. And that's when I knew I could trust her. As soon as Mizuki got out he dragged Noriyori into the bin and the teachers did nothing. So I tried again to get him in but I failed and got told off again. Then we were all told to get to class. On the way I told Noriyori I appreciated her help. Mizuki started bad-mouthing Nono as soon as the class ended so I marched over to them. He walked away as soon as I said something. I tried to follow him but he ran off. I turned around to Nono and we started to talk. But not for long since Noritoshi thought he was needed in our conversation. And he tried to give us money. I denied because. You know. What the. Hell. And then he walked away. No no and I kept talking until the next class, I wanted to finally get half hair into the bin, but Noritoshi just so happened to be walking towards the door so I pushed him right in, he was really trying to look like he could fit into the girls change rooms today, disgusting, Noriyori and Mizuki were right up in each other's faces so I approached them, I helped Noriyori out with some insults and he started walking out, I tried to take the opportunity to get him in, the bin, but he pushed me in instead, the final bell rang, I went to Jun's car and we set off to debate club. Everyone was there this time and Sumiko came up to me and said they wouldn't be going easy on me just because it's my last day. I could tell as the class went on that they didn't approve or were worried about the bruises. We got into two pairs and won three. Me and Hasegawa, Jun and Sumiko, and Katashi, Minori who finally showed up, and Hiroshi. We were given three topics to debate. I won two out. Of three topics, Jun also won two out of three. Katashi won one. Hiroshi won two, and Minori won none. Then for the last bit we played Don't Get Me Started for three rounds, Sumiko got 19 points, Jun got 18, Katashi got 16, I got 14, Hiroshi got 14 as well, Hasegawa got 13, and Minori got 10. Then it was time to go home. Yeah! Thursday was a pretty average day compared to the past few, it's the sixth last day of the school year. I started doing stretches in the gym as soon as I got to school and Noriyori talked to me as I did. Shusaku was standing up on the stage and I had stretched enough for a fight if needed. I approached him with Noriyori and we both insulted him until he ran away. We got down from the stage and Saburo came over. The three of us talked about fitness until it was time for class, just like last time we had gym, as. Soon as it ended Mizuki started shit with Nono. I went over and berated him, even shoved him around a little. Until he made the right decision to leave, I was making sure Nono was okay, when Shusaku ran over. I tried to push him away but he was like a brick wall. He walked off on his own when the bell went though. During break I insulted the guys some more, did the same to half hair, talked to Noriyori and Saikaku, and eavesdropping on the guys flirting or something, after class I got really close to getting half hair into the bin, with a teacher in the room, but she ran off, at least I didn't get in trouble. I followed her and found her with Gihei and Hondo. I listen in and it seemed like half hair and Gihei get along but all Hondo does is argue. As I got into Jun's car at the end of the day I saw my dad coming around the corner. I slouched as low as I could and Jun drove off as fast as he could without looking suspicious. At Jun's house I tried my hand at streaming for 3 hours. And I got no money at all, so I practiced my gaming skills for about an hour, then I took a shower, and went to bed. Friday morning I got ready by 7 to be dropped off by 8, I'm sure you all know the drill by now. When I got to the gym I was going to check the change rooms for any perverts but Noriyori went in before me and I saw Hondo run by. I assumed Noriyori would be fine kicking out and perverts so I went over to Hondo. I started off by insulting her and telling her she's a gross pervert. She interrupted me saying she isn't a pervert. Kissing me wasn't perverted. She knows what she did wrong and didn't admit it at the time because she was so embarrassed and ashamed she didn't just ask me. She explained that she thought I might be a little bit into girls because of how much I talked about hating men. But that doesn't mean it was okay, what she did. 
She told me it was all right if I didn't want to accept her apology and I said I'd have to sleep on it. We got onto talking about people and she let slip that half hair is a pervert, but right after telling me the bell went. So after the next class, I decided to confront the warito. I kept trying to get her opinions on easy things like nudes and bathroom creeps, but she was refusing to talk. She tried to get to other perverts, but I persisted. I wasn't scared of them. And Hondo backed me up on my points, which I guess I appreciated. I'm not sure it's tense. Eventually she tried to leave the room and I shoved her right in the bin. While she was stuck in the bin I threw insults at her. As soon as she got out I pushed her right back in. This went for a good nearly 30 minutes. I wish people stayed behind to watch because half hair just looked so pathetic. After seven times of pushing her and a teacher came in and told me to get to class. Luckily half hair wasn't in the bin at that time. Since I had already dealt with one pervert, I decided to deal with the other two, Pink Guy and Noritoshi. I spent the whole break following them around telling them all about the impacts their perversion has of women, but they just weren't listening. Eventually they ran off like little kids, I went and found Noriyori and Nono and talked to them as we walked to class. Once that class ended I walked over to Nono and kept talking to her, I kind of feel bad for leaving her for the time that I did. She never actually did anything to me, and she isn't a pervert, it's nice having her as a friend. It's also pretty nice that she likes to give me 1000 yen randomly. Maybe if I got enough money I would be able to buy Miss Flat Feet back, I'm not entirely sure if she's just at my parents' house or if she was actually sent to the pound. It was nearly time for the next class and I was about to ask Nono if she had any more money. When she gave me 1000 more yen before I could ask, I of course thanked her and we went off to class, the final bell went. As I walked past half hair I remembered to insult her, just to drive the point home, I had forgetting Monday was a public holiday. So after the long weekend there's only two days left, back at June's apartment I streamed for a while, getting no money, I played about three hours of video games off stream, took a shower, then went to bed. I spent the spring equinox public holiday on Monday the same way I spent my weekend, I did a lot of exercise and streamed. My bruises were healing up steadily but June and I still went out and got some makeup that I'd be able to wear for graduation. Just to cover the bruises though, I wasn't going to put on lipstick or eyeshadow, things have really been falling in line. I haven't gotten hurt, I can't get in trouble by my dad, me and Hondo have talked about what happened, I've got at least three friends, and finally I'm about to graduate, I can't believe I was ever caught up on not having a boyfriend. I got ready earlier than usual so I could listen to one of June's new songs. On the way to school we talked about going out for dinner tomorrow after graduation. Honestly I'm a bit sad my mom and dad won't be there but it's probably for the best. I quickly checked the girls change room before talking to Noriyori, we talked about fitness and how bad anime is. Also just before the bell I clued her in on half hair being perverted. After the first class I reminded half hair that I and now a few. Others know about her perverted nature, then I went over to Nono and Saburo, Nono instantly brought up Shusaku. I'm not sure how she still likes him but I just decided to ignore what she said instead of convincing her. I talked to them both about sport and graduation coming up. Neither of them really thought they'd graduate. Saburo says that if he doesn't he'll just come back for another year, but Nono isn't too sure what she'll do. During break I started talking to Nono again, but then I heard. Shusaku trying to start something with Noriyori, the school nurse who's also a teacher went over to him. But since the teachers obviously don't know right and wrong I still went over, like I thought he wasn't getting in trouble. So Noriyori and I insulted him until he maned up and walked away. I reassured Noriyori that she won't ever have to see him again after a few days then we just casually talked for the next 10 minutes. On my way to film studies I found pink hair and Noritoshi hidden away. In the library, I started insulting them because honestly, I don't trust those perverts to not be doing something freaky while alone back here. After that class I talked to Nono and Noriyori some more. Then we found Mizuki in the hallway and insulted him until the next class. In the afternoon I had no complications getting to June's car, I wouldn't be surprised if my family just doesn't care about me. Back at the apartment I streamed for 6 hours, only getting 464 yen, I got so much more over the weekend. I practiced my gaming skills for a few more hours, then I took a shower, right after I got out I got a message from Nono. Hi Briar, I know I don't normally message you, but this is really important. I feel like we'll still talk to each other after school, so I think you should know, I'm non-binary. I use they slash them and they slash thyn pronouns, maybe you picked up on other people using those for me, maybe you haven't, 
I value you and my identity so it would really mean a lot if you used my pronouns and gender-neutral terms for me. Honestly I wasn't too sure how to feel, I searched up non-binary just to make sure I knew what it meant. I don't really understand it, I don't understand why Nono has to identify that way, so I just ignored the message and went to bed. I had basically forgotten about the message from Nono, I was so excited to be finally graduating. As June helped me cover my bruises he asked what I wanted to do after I graduate, job-wise. We'd be going to dinner after the ceremony, I had a few ideas, like my streams and interest in fitness, but I don't have any pressure on myself to know just yet, I found a present with 5 yen in it behind the gym stage. I saw Noriyori standing near Shusaku so I ran over to make sure Noriyori was alright. We talked about the same stuff as yesterday, fitness and our hate for anime. After the first class Noriyori and I ganged up on Noritoshi, we wanted to make sure he knew that even if we won't be seeing him anymore his behavior would still not be tolerated. He tried to run to Mizuki but we had some words for him as well, through Jim Saburo wasn't wearing a shirt which was really weird. He said he's not perverted and I asked him about that again to confirm that, but he couldn't understand why it was pretty weird to be so underdressed. I decided to just try ignore him by talking to Noriyori. I kept getting distracted by the other group's conversations but I managed. The class 4 ending bell went and we all made our way to the gym for our graduation. With the graduation ceremony over, Miss Briar Hitoshi made her way to the rooftop as she found it to be the most relaxing place in the school. Though there were many fights to get here, she had graduated and that was something to be proud of, she looked across the courtyard smiling to herself over her accomplishment. When she was interrupted by soft crying behind her, Miss Hitoshi turned to see one of her victims hoisting herself over the rooftop rails. 